Hello everyone and welcome back to Now I Know. Today we are talking about one of the interesting topic and that is prions. Now you might have heard about prions. Uh, you know that when whenever we talk about diseases, what do we think about? We think about bacteria, we think about viruses, we think about fungus, you know. So we never think about anything other than this because these are the agents that cause diseases or infectious diseases, right? But there is also something called as prions that exist, which is none of this, which is simply a protein that causes a fatal disease. Okay, these are the proteins that causes a fatal disease. Now the difference over here for this prions, these proteins, how are they different from other normal protein is, they are exactly like how it is a normal protein that is present, but they are misfolded okay they are misfolded at particular region that makes it very deadly now uh, when it comes to prions th there is not a lot that we know about but you know there is a quite a bit that recently or recently as in like in in this new era that we know is this misfolding Generally, this uh, proteins, as I said, this is just the normal protein that we have. They are just like the normal protein. The only difference, as in like the, the amino acid sequence, are just the same as the normal protein. But the thing is, they have a different shape. They have a misconfiguration, misfolding. And this misfolding happens at the same PRP protein that is coded by the highly conserved sequence in our DNA. That means all of us will have it. But where it is misfolded, where it is having the shape that it is not supposed to have, that's when it turns into prions. Okay, so it is misfolded uh, at the same PRP protein that is coded by highly conserved sequence our DNA. That's why I say it is widely spread among all of us, but wherever this misfolding happens, that's when prions uh, exist. But this is a very, very rare phenomena that happens and why it happens and all that we don't know much uh, anything about it. So look at this. This is how our normal protein is. Just an example. Amino acid sequence is going to be same for all. But whenever there is a misfolding, this is how, let's say for example, prions looks like. Now, the worst part is, you know, it's not only that it is misfolded, this one misfolded prion can actually uh, trigger or can actually catalyze this normal protein also to become prions. You know, it can trigger or it can catalyze the normal protein also to turn into prions. So it will change the shape of the normal protein also. So once you have the prions, maybe there is some mutation that has occurred or maybe it has been uh, come from the outside environment as in like by consuming uh, infected food. Uh, and when I say infected food, it is actually the brain that we are talking about mainly. This will catalyze the normal protein also to turn into prions. And once they turn into prions, they form aggregates like this. And, you know, these aggregates of prions will start accumulating in brain tissue. All of this happens in brain. Once they start accumulating in brain tissue, a lot and a lot of that, then they will start killing the brain cells. And once it starts killing the brain cells, it starts forming holes in the brain and literally the brain will become a spongy brain you know a sponge with holes inside it will exactly become like that and that's why uh, the the mad cow disease if you look at the scientific name if you look at the name it is bovine spongy form encephalopathy that means a spongy brain literally a spongy brain that's that's scary to understand and that's even scary to uh, imagine and you might have heard about the mad cow disease so, so that's what happens maybe the prions is created because of some uh, sequence mutation or it has been uh, consumed the infected meat or brain is con uh, consumed and this prions it's just the misfolding of the same prp protein which is coded by highly conserved sequence in, in dna the worst part is this prion can now start uh, you know catalyzing the change or the conformation of the normal protein resulting into prion aggregates this will start accumulating in brain tissues kills the brain cells resulting into holes in the brain which is just like a spongy brain and the examples of uh, uh, prions diseases are mad cow disease you must have heard about it kuru 
Crossfeld Jakob disease, and these are all incurable fatal disease. They are rare, of course, extremely rare, but they are incurable and fatal disease. So this is all about the prions. One of the, uh, you know, we we already have so many mysteries going on considering the pandemic and the situation that we have in the world. But prions are very very puzzling. They are, if you look at it, it is just a protein. How and what it it does this? It's still a mystery and. It's really interesting to read about it. So that's all for now. This prions is something that is in your microbiology uh, portion of uh, CSI and its syllabus. And this will give you a fair idea of what prions are. So do let me know what do you think about it. If you have any interesting facts that you might have read about it, do put it in the comments below. And if you have any doubts, reach out to me here or on Instagram. And that's all for now. I will see you next time. Until then, keep learning.